The United States' debt ceiling crisis that left the nation's financial fate oscillating from a loose threat finally seems to be witnessing a long-awaited glimpse of progress. The U.S. President Joe Biden and top Congressional Republican Kevin McCarthy are 70 billion US dollars apart on the total figure of 1 trillion dollars with just a little time left before they head for default. Both sides met virtually and the conversation to reach a consensus was carried out at night as well as on Thursday, stated Garrett Graves, the top Republican negotiator. A source revealed that the Republican negotiators agreed to back off plans to increase military spending while cutting non-defense spending and instead supported the White House demand to treat both items equally. This had Biden stating that he's still unsure of where the cuts should be made because he does not want middle class and working class Americans to bear the full price. Yet, the two sides aren't able to foster unity of opinion over issues like work requirements for anti-poverty programs and funding social security. Democrats focus their attacks on Republicans mentioning that there's no time left for games. Once McCarthy and Biden achieve a consensus, it will need to be approved by their respective congressional caucuses. It may take up to a week to get the agreement through the House and Senate. According to Deputy Treasury Secretary Wally Adeyemo, the concerns surrounding the debt ceiling have resulted in pushing the government's interest costs by 80 million US dollars. Significantly, if the two sides do not reach an agreement, a US default might destabilize international financial markets and cause a recession in the US.